Hello and welcome to Sophie Slim basic blog design series. Today on this video we are going to be showing you how to create a new blog header using a really simple basic web site and also uh, we're going to be showing you how to upload that new header into your blogger account. You'll need to know two things to start off with. The first one you need to know the width of your header uh, that is uh, from left to right. I have gone through this on my blog so click this link to find out the, the width of your blog header. Also you will need a photo that you really like that will be the basic background of your new header. So once you've got those two things sorted head over with me to pickmonkey.com. This is a great website uh, where you can edit any photos without even registering. So jump online, uh, go to edit a photo here on the left hand side and click to upload. You want to find your photo that you've got. I've got mine on my desktop so we're going to open that up for editing. Today we are creating Create Hope Inspire blog. It's a new header. Uh, this photo is a photo of some fabric that Miriam loves and we are going to do her whole blog design based on these color themes. So the first thing we need to do is to resize the image. This is where your blog width comes in, your blog header width. So you are going to change the size to those pixels. I know Miriam's is 940, so we'll just type those in there and uh, we'll leave this other block box as is, as it happens automatically. So then we hit apply. You probably won't realize that has changed, but it has. So just know that and then head on up to crop. We want to crop this image using our pixels, so our width is 940 again. And for the height, which is up and down, I recommend either 300 or 400 pixels, but have a play around and see what you like. Somewhere around those numbers is a good place to start. So then uh, if you have a very large photo, you can actually drag and drop this selection to choose a certain part of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose that selection and hit apply and that will cut my header down to size. It's a good idea to change the exposure on a lot of your photos especially if you are putting text over them for the headers. Uh, this is quite a busy piece, this is quite a busy photo so we just want to lower the brightness down and also the contrast just so that our text which we're going to add later is going to pop out. So we'll hit apply there are lots of cool editing tools down the side here that you can have a play around with. We're just going basic today. So we're just going to hit the P here and that is going to take us to our text editing. You type in uh, what you your blog header up the top. So in our case that is Create Hope Inspire. You choose your font. We are going to go with Lobster 2 and we hit Add. It's going to make it appear over here on our header and we can drag and drop it to sit wherever we want it. I want it smack bang in the middle so we're just going to put it there. Uh, so you can change the size, um, you can fade the font, you can pretty much do whatever you'd like. Um, and then up here we're going to choose a colour. We're going to go for a dark, a dark navy and I'm going to go for that looks good. Later on we're going to add a second line of text so if you're going to do that like I am you want to copy this color code up here. You do that by hitting Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac to copy that code which I've just done now. When you're happy with that you click X and that will drop it right onto your header. Uh, you can still click it to move it around if you're not completely happy and that will bring up your editing box again. So once that's all done, we want to add a tagline. I love taglines. I think they are a great way to introduce a new reader to your blog straight away so they get an idea as to what's going on. So I'm just going to add by Miriam of make it give it because Miriam's got two blogs. So I want her readers to know that uh, she is the Miriam. So once again, type it in there. Choose your font. We're going to go with a plain one uh, so that her main her main words can pop out, her main title. So you hit add and that will put it up over the image. We want to bring the size right down because it is just a tagline, it's not the main focal point. 
and we're going to drag and drop it to where we want it over to the side I think and to get it that same color that the main title is we're going to click up here by the color we're going to highlight that all and we're going to insert our copied code so we do that by control V or command V hit enter and that will change it to the same color I'm happy with that so click the X and that is our brand new header I think that looks pretty good so we're going to save it which is right down the bottom here click on save we want to save it to my computer and give it a good file name there we go save the photo and make sure it's where you want it I want it on my de desktop so it's nice and easy to find that has saved and then we go over to blogger now in blogger you want to go to your layout section and uh, when you are in your layout you want to find your header which is right here in the middle and you want to edit your header which is a little button on the right hand side so uh, when this box pops up there's two things you want to click or two things you want to know rather the first one is this here instead of title and description that wants to be checked uh, and also if shrink to fit is checked you want to uncheck it you don't want it to shrink to fit then we're going to choose our file wherever you saved your header before uh, go ahead and open that from PicMonkey that will load up and then we are just going to hit save as soon as that has loaded yes that's our image we just created so save then we're going to save arrangement which will save anything you've just changed and we're going to view our blog up at the top there so this is Miriam's brand new blog it's got her new header in place which I think looks very great um, it basically uh, just tells us exactly who Miriam is it looks nice and professional and we made it in under five minutes thank you for watching I hope you found that helpful next up I will be telling you how to create tabs down your sidebar and uh, also underneath your header.